Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Alibaba and a couple of the Chinese stocks because you can't really talk about one without talking about the other. Everyone's wondering, is this the time to buy the dip or get out of Dodge and just weigh on the sidelines? And I'm here to say, who knows? But I'm a chart guy. I don't care too much about the news, but we're looking at a couple of articles first. So first off, we all know that when you play Chinese stocks, you're at the mercy of the government. They can step in at any time, change the rules of the games with those companies and... They don't have too many check and balances, so those changes get in pretty quickly. We had news before that like, the ARCs were dumping the Chinese stocks because Kathy Wood said they're overvalued. And why did she say that? She didn't really say, or at least I couldn't find why she said that. So she said that, and now it's become like a self-fulfilling prophecy, and that's why the stocks are going down. Nothing about the charts like said that they're worth going down right there, in my mind. Uh, but on the other hand, now we have more news about China stepping in and trying to break up monopoly practices. And here's an example of them doing it to Tencent, basically saying... You're too big right now, so let's cut you down a notch. And, you know, you get another example of that. And just overall, like, a lot of the Chinese stocks have been going down because, you know, everyone's afraid how is this government going to change the game and limit these growth companies moving forward. So people are getting scared. They're moving their money out of Chinese stocks and into other stocks right now. But what I want to look at is actually going to be, like, the charts. Let the charts do the talking. And here's Alibaba. I think this is the, the one-year chart here. And for a while, they've been in a downtrend. It's no secret. You can see that pretty clearly. But it's been bouncing pretty consistently between these. And all of a sudden, here comes the news, and we break through this. We broke down below this channel, which I did not like to see. But on this old Fibonacci that's going back, you can see the stock normally respects this Fibonacci I have drawn here. And here, again, we tested the 180, and now we pop back up. So still respecting the Fibonacci but it's still a big drop based on news, and we have earnings coming up. Kind of a scary situation. Uh, before this whole drop here, going back three years, you can make an upward channel. And basically what I would say right now is if you're not in the stock already, just wait. Maybe wait until we break back into this upper channel here, which would be about 200. Might take a couple days. We'll basically just gonna be waiting to see what happens on earnings, it sounds like. Uh, if we go back like three years, three years, one week. Uh, again, you can look at where the supports are. There's a lot of volume going back a couple years around the 175 mark. And we're sitting, I think they closed at 186, but they tested 180. Like It's got a hard path ahead of it to get below 175, 170. But if you want to sell some puts on the stock, I'd say use this Fibonacci, get below this level of support. So if you can get under 150 and there's a decent premium there, that's what I'd be looking if I was not already in this position. With that said, I'm already in uh, Alibaba, and I'm just going to be holding these positions for a little bit and see what happens. If you're liking this content, go ahead and click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on any videos I put out. So what position I have on is I have a 205 put that I got in. It was a roll position. I'm not too worried about it, so I'm just going to let that go burn. It's got plenty of time, August 27th. And as that gets closer, that's why I decide if I need to roll or just accept a loss. But I'm not too worried. I think Baba's going to go back up to 200, 210, 220. I don't believe that this sell-off is legit in my mind, but you never know. We all make our own predictions. Uh, this other position I have is a zebra on Baba. Basically, it's a synthetic stock position. And basically, whenever the stock moves up $1, this position goes up 100 So obviously... Baba went down, so that's why it's down, you know, about 500. It loses slower than it had I bought 100 shares, and it takes less capital. If you're interested in zebras, I'll put a link in the uh, video above me right here. But other than that, let me know what you guys are thinking about Alibaba and what kind of plays you guys are doing. Or if you're just going to wait on the sidelines with popcorn and see what happens, you know. I love getting into discussion, so leave a comment, like, sub, subscribe.